Hey everyone, welcome back to my podcast. I'm your host, Lester Gonzalez, and as an educator and psychology graduate, I will talk about self-improvement, personal growth, success, and how our mindset plays a crucial role in our lives. Please leave a like and follow as it will help grow this podcast. And that being said, for today's self-help topic, I want to talk about six psychological traits that will make you an exceptional team player. Effective teamwork is the epitome of success. A good team player possesses specific psychological traits that can help contribute to work environments and community. Remember, team players bring a unique set of skills that build an efficient working environment for all team members. Uh, I would assume that many of us in our future careers, we will work and adapt with other colleagues or team members. And having an exceptional team Uh, having exceptional team leadership will help us propel and succeed in life, right? That being said, here are the six psychological traits that will make us an exceptional team player. The first trait is team loyalty. And loyalty is everything when being an exceptional team player. This helps us prioritize our team's success above personal gain. Loyalty often creates a strong sense of unity and connection within the group. This will help build our trust with other team members, allowing us to work thoroughly and efficiently. The more we develop loyalty, the more we'll become an exceptional team player. Remember that loyalty is key in terms of, you know, being a good team player as well as being there for your team. Because the more you show loyalty within your team members, the more you'll build trust with one another. The second The second trait is reliability, and being a team player means being reliable. This trait will help us fulfill our commitments and achieve every task efficiently. I'm sorry, you may hear some of the background my dog and my brothers are playing, but yeah, reliability means we meet deadlines, uh, keeping our promises, and contribute to the team's overall dependability. And the more we become reliable, the more our team members can count on us to do things. This will help build our leadership and trust with other team members and making reliability an essential trait to showcase. The third trait is having active listening, right? And active listening is essential when being a good team player. This will often make us genuinely hear our teammates out and within their needs and suggestions, basically. And active listening creates a sense of understanding between team members, fostering effective communication for everyone. When working as a team, it's crucial to hear out everyone's suggestions and perspective. That way, team members can generate ideas while acknowledging the different benefits. The more we actively listen, the greater team player will be in building each other up. The fourth trait is having constructive feedback. Being an exceptional team player means we must give and receive constructive feedback. Giving feedback offers insights and suggestions in helpful and posi- in a helpful and positive manner, right? And the trait fuels our team growth, allowing us to improve over time. Even even when receiving constructive feedback, you know, we should we shouldn't see that as an insult, right? When being a good team member, we should take that in and find ways to improve on it and if not benefit from it to help everyone out. Um, and the more feedback we give Uh, the more we problem solve, allowing team members to get better in achieving certain tasks over time. And as a result, constructive feedback is all about seeking team growth and improvement, right? Providing great leadership and direction for all team members is one of the key aspects, especially in terms of constructive feedback. The fifth trait is conflict resolution. And in being an exceptional team team leader or team player, we must possess good conflict resolution skills. Uh, This helps address disagreements within the team in a constructive manner while improving collaboration with one another. And this trait helps us find a way and task that others find difficulty in. The more we figure out ways in solving specific problems, the more we'll help lead the team in the right direction. And you see, conflict resolution involves teamwork in examining the situation and working around it. Um, That being said, an exceptional leader uh, is built upon conflict resolution, allowing us to overcome challenges and make decisions to solve our way through. The final trait in being an exceptional team player is 
respect and diversity, right? And this is one of the traits I find the most crucial in terms of being an exceptional team player. You must have respect. This means appreciating unique perspectives, you know, backgrounds and experiences that each team member brings to the table or shares with you. Remember, everyone has their own unique set of skill sets they can put on the table, and this trait helps create a more inclusive and dynamic team environment, allowing us to learn, respect, and grow from each other. The more we showcase respect and diversity, the greater connections we'll build, making the trait a crucial aspect in becoming a team player. That is all I have for you guys today in the six psychological traits that will make you an exceptional team player. Thank you all so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed the podcast and for more self-help content, stay tuned. Make sure to leave a follow as it will help grow this podcast because I really love speaking my knowledge and mentorship with all of you. That being said, I look forward to growing with all of you on this podcast. I'll make sure to see you guys in the next episode. I'll try to post daily. As always, I wish you all a blessed day.